Hello, hello there. Uh, I am in the midst of some craziness. I decided to reorganize my office slash studio slash workout space. I need to be working out more. Uh, so it's been a little crazy. And then you see this, this green screen behind me. I actually have been working on figuring out how to set up my live streaming settings and, and go forward with that because I think it's going to be good way for me to make more music and make more videos because by live streaming I can do both the videos and uh, the music at at once in a more productive manner I feel like versus the individual videos not to say that I'm not going to be doing that but I do want to do more live streaming um, so I've been checking things out on Twitch and getting my setup down I want to do some DJing live streaming and some videos about doing that since I've been researching the whole thing and drilling down on what I need to do. So yeah, cool. But this video was about the iMac Pro. Uh, a lot of you watched my first video uh, when I was trying to decide if I should get the iMac Pro or I should get the Mac Mini. And you know, at first I thought it was going to be a tough decision, but the more and more I read about it and thought about it, I really just decided to go with the iMac Pro. Uh, financially, yes, it was a lot more, but maybe not so much when you really looked at what you're getting versus with the Mac Mini and adding on all the additional things you would need to be able to really get a graphics card that's going to, to move and a monitor that looks great. Anyway, so I got the Mac Pro and I'm really happy with it. I've been using it for a while and it is fast. It was definitely an upgrade from my old system. So it being super fast is expected, but I mean, it really, it actually surprised me in how fast it is. I mean, just a, a few of the things like rendering, rend mixing down like a song from my DAW, like rendering it to a WAV file or an MP3, um, using Final Cut or ScreenFlow and uh, rendering the actual video footage to the end product, the end video, uh, that flies. My Final Cut, I mean, it used to just like struggle and struggle and struggle and it's just like bang and it's done. I'm like in disbelief. I'm happy I went with the iMac Pro. Uh, and for those of you who are like me, it might be a good fit for you. So let me sort of tell you what boat I was in, um, the full story. I just didn't want to have to deal with doing a lot. I wanted to be able to get a system, take it out of the box, start using it, and not have to put memory in it figure out how to hook up my monitor, figure out how what graphics card was gonna work, how that was going to work with it. Um, and then there were additional benefits like the HD, the camera, the camera inside um, for FaceTime. It's actually really, really good. I'll show some footage right now of me using it um, just for another video and I'm actually gonna be using it for live streaming and that amazes me because I, I don't know, it's one of the benefits I wasn't even really thinking of, but the fact that literally the camera inside the iMac Pro is so good and shoots in 1080 and just looks really good, it, you don't need an external camera even. So it's like little things like that really surprise me. And uh, if you're somebody I would say who is a music producer that's also doing content creation, so video, video creation, uh, and you know, streaming, the other thing, and, and doing things like that, like I think this machine, I mean, how could you go wrong with it, right? It's a beast. It's an absolute beast, and it's a good fit for what I needed because I'm able to just buy one box and get all that at once, and yeah, it sucks. Like the price sucks, I'm with you, totally sucks, but when I look at the benefits that I'm getting now and what I'm capable of doing and how quick I'm capable of doing it and not having a lot of pain points in, in getting the system set up um, or worried about like upgrading it because um, I know I need, have all the memory I need and, and what I need in it right now. Uh, and for probably the next like at least eight years, uh, I just feel like the investment was worth it. So if you're tuning into this video and you really expected more meat, I apologize. Um, I don't know how to run benchmark tests and uh, it's really hard to articulate, um, you know, the experience I'm having besides saying it's a really great experience uh, into quantifiable data for you. I think everybody just, you know, the best thing to do is to watch as many YouTube videos as possible and try to figure out 
uh, whether or not the iMac Pro is gonna be good for you or the Mac Mini. I did hear a few people say that they grabbed the Mac Mini and they thought it was going to be something that it wasn't in the end. Um, so you might wanna dig in and look a little bit for that, but I know there are many of you that grab the Mac Mini and, and put more memory in it and you're really enjoying the system. And I think the big thing at the end of the day is what do you wanna do with your computer? Uh, that is the, the really big thing that is going to hit home on what one may work best for you. And I think if I was just doing music production, like solely music production, no content creation, no videos, maybe even no live streaming, uh, not sure on that because I, I just don't know, um, then maybe the Mac mini would have been a really good choice for me because I would have just had to buy, um, you know, maybe some extra memory and a monitor and I'd be good to go. Um, but yeah, that graphics card, that really concerned me. And it was really expensive to buy an external graphics card. And, um, you know, I know Blackmagic's a really good company, but I was just reading some, you know, people's reviews and there were some good things and some not so good things. Um, and that was on the prior, like um, on, an, on the card that hadn't come out yet because there's a higher price card that just came out. And forgive me because I don't know all the different types of cards and specs on them, um, but you probably know what I'm talking about. So anyway, yeah. I'm enjoying my iMac Pro. I'm looking forward to making more content and delivering it to you uh, in a very efficient manner. I mean, that's, that's the thing. Efficiency, I feel like, is so important in life. And when I was sitting behind my old computer just waiting and waiting and waiting, I'm like, this sucks. Um, of course, again, there's, there's an expense, there's an investment that needs to be made to make things quicker. But anyway, I am psyched about my new computer. I am grateful that I was in the position to get this computer. Um, I will be paying it off over the next year. Um, like many of you, I'm sure I purchased it on Amazon and I was able to split it up into only 12 payments. So it's, it is hefty uh, and I did have some gift cards that helped, but um, you know, it, it's a big investment and I'm grateful because I know not everybody is in the situation to, to get a computer like this and you know, I work work really, really, really hard. And I know that you guys don't get to see that because you see me in my hobby and, and with the content um, that I'm creating here. But, um, you know, it's one of my struggles. Like I work a lot and that is what is holding me back from making these videos. Um, but I also love my work. I love what I do for a full-time job. So it's just about finding those balances in life that um, that work out. Anyway, thank you for watching this this video. I'm rambling, um, but yeah, thanks, and I'll see you soon. Bye.